So here's an interesting way to look at the seven logic gates and how they function that I showed from a previous video when I was working with it in the snap circuit system. And this is kind of a little fun program I've got here. And if anyone's curious what it is, just look up Widget Workshop and it'll tell you what this is I'm using. In fact, I may make a separate video about this old program that's two decades old. But anyway, let's show how each of our seven logic gates work. Again, we've got an AND, an OR, an exclusive OR, then we have our NOT, we have a NAND, a NOR, and then our exclusive NOR. So, let's show here. Now we're going to start with our AND, which is over here. Now I turn on our first condition and set it to true. Nothing happens. I set it one back to false. I set our other condition to true. Still nothing happens. Now I'm going to leave that one true and make A true again. And you see that C, which is our light bulb, turns on. So that gives us a true output condition with the AND. Because both of these have to be true. If one or the other is false, or they're both false, then the AND condition will not be met. They both have to be true. Now let's move down to our OR logic operator. Now if I turn on A, the bulb lights up. If I turn on B, the bulb lights up. And if I have them both on, well, the bulb is still lit up. So with an OR, as long as both conditions are not false, the bulb will light up. So if A is true, or B is true, or A and B is true, then your OR logic condition will be met, and you'll get a true output condition. Now we're going to move down to our exclusive OR. Now when we turn on A, our light bulb lights up. If we turn on B, the light bulb lights up. If we turn both on, now we get a false condition. The light goes out. But if we turn them back off, it goes back off again. So with an exclusive OR, it's either OR, meaning one condition or the other condition has to be true in order to have a true output. If both of them are true, unlike our OR here, then the condition output will be false. And of course, if they're both false, then the output condition will still be false. Now let's move up here to our NOT. Now a NOT only takes one input condition versus the others that take two. And so here we've got our switch, which is in the off position, but our light is currently on. If we set the switch to on or true, well now our bulb is turned off, and now we've got a false condition. The NOT operator is pretty much an inverter, means it'll take the input and then give you the opposite. So since this is a true condition, now we have a false condition. On the other side, if we set it back to false, well now we got a true condition over there. That's how our NOT operator works. Now let's move down to our NAND, or NOT AND operator. So as you see, when both our switches are set in the false setting or off. Our light is on. Now when we turn one switch on, well, our light is still on. If we turn the other switch on, our light is still on. But if we turn on both switches, now our light is off. Now we have a false condition over here because the NAND operator versus the AND over here, it's opposite because you've got this NOT here. So it's negating the output. So everything that is on the AND is the opposite on the NAND. So in this case, everything but having all both two condi uh, conditions true will give you a true output. But if both conditions are true, you'll get a false output. So let's move down to our NOR, or NOT OR, operator. As you can see, our light bulb is currently lit up, and we've got both our input conditions set to false right now. If I turn on A, the light will go out. If I turn on B, the light will go out. And if I have A and B set to true, 
then our light is still out. So again, just like the NAND and the AND, the NOR and the OR are opposites of each other because again, we have this NOT or inverter gate right here. So unless both conditions are false, the light bulb will not light up. So with a NOR, you gotta have both of these as false. Otherwise, if either one or both is true, you're gonna get a false condition on the output. So that's how the NOR works. So let's finally move to our exclusive NOR, or exclusive not OR. Now as you see, our light bulb again is lit up with both our conditions set to false with our switches turned off. Now if I turn on A, our light goes out. If I turn on B, our light goes out. But if I have A and B turned on both true conditions, then our light comes on, which means we've got a true condition on our exclusive NOR gate. So again, just like all the others, it's an opposite of the exclusive OR. So everything that comes out of the exclusive OR normally is in negated or inverted because of our NOT gate here. And so that's pretty much it for the seven logic gates. Again, this is kind of another demonstration with using the computer to show this versus what we were doing with the snap circuits in another video.